One dribble, right to the bucket, short. Westbrook with the rebound, quick release, count. First basket of the game for Westbrook as Minnesota takes a 46 to 29 lead. Loose ball knocked out, Bab picks it up. Skip pass, battle deep, partially deflected by Westbrook. And Colton Iverson comes up with the rebound. Here comes Joseph on the hard push. Across court, Westbrook. Got it. Boy, what a beautiful look in the secondary break by Minnesota. They kick it up the left side of the floor. They fan out on the right side. Good look cross court from Hoffarger to Westbrook, who spotted up. 13-15 to play in the second half. 49-29, Minnesota up by 20. Back after this. 11 seed Penn State, who have been playing well at the end of the year. You see that they're wounded. And for Minnesota to be able to come in here and take care of them the way they have taken care of them thus far, that says a whole lot about how prepared the Gophers were coming into this game. Very, very focused, and they have done a nice job of taking the other scoring options out of it. David Jackson been held in check, as has Chris Babb for long periods of time. You can't underestimate the importance of the injury to Taylor Battle, but that has not really been the story here tonight. It has been the efficiency with which... And I think Chris Kramer has to look at the basket more. That's a charge call against Grant. Well, he had the right idea, kicking that ball to a wide-open shooter, but he just couldn't slow himself down. See, you got to come to a jump stop there. The momentum carried him into the defender. Westbrook was in solid position. Hi making him feel that he had a chance to get it down there and just stepped right in. Merkovich, high post. Minnesota's lead now seven. We near 12 minutes to go in the game. Nash barreling. And they're calling it offensive on Jeremy Nash. Watch as Nash turns the corner, able to get around. Looks like he's going to have a chance to get all the way to the rim. This is Watford picked up by Johnson. Jordan Hulls defended by Hoffarber. Verdell Jones with Westbrook in his shirt. He knocked it away out of bounds right to Tubby Smith on the Minnesota bench. Not only can he post people up, but he's also excellent at passing from the high post down inside to teammates. Sampson feeding it to Johnson for the game's first basket. Yes, defensively, Minnesota yesterday held Purdue, the number two seed in this tournament, to only 11 points in the first half. 19% field goal shooting for Purdue in that first half, Jim. Only 28% for the game. Good challenge by Hoff Arbor. And we'll try to break out of here with a little four-court pressure they're going to face. And again, they'll back off, but they want to pressure the ball and not allow Ohio State just to walk up into the offensive set. Good strategy here by the Gophers because they are deep and they're very versatile defensively. Minnesota will play a lot of people. Ohio State doesn't. We'll keep an eye on that too, Jim. And get good shots. A Buford with a floater. Turner saves it, in fact, saves it, feeds it, deep or no. Long rebound, Westbrook, who's a good rebounder for his... And you've got two teams fighting for one spot, and those teams are Illinois, Minnesota, and Mississippi State. It could be two for one or three for two, depending on who wins this wow. game. Okay. That's how I see it right now. Whether the committee sees it that way or not is another story. And they're Defending right here, 22. As you said, they do go deep. Lighty left open, launches a three. Tapped around the lighting. Back down. Well, that. I mean, you just look <laughs> yeah, at some I think of the teams. just got that established. You know, it's just a, such a different year than any year I've ever seen the tournament. When you got the likes of North Carolina, UCLA, UConn, Arizona, Indiana, all out. Buford hits the shot. How good. What we've seen out of Iverson here at the Big Ten. I wondered if, in fact, Tubby Smith would be able to play the two big guys together here, dealing with Ohio State's offensive versatility, and he's gotten good production with the two big guys on the floor so far. The switch off. Westbrook now defending on the ball. Those offensive possessions. There's another one almost forced by Westbrook with 13 turnovers between both teams. As a result, Minnesota has only got, has taken four less shots Ohio State has done a pretty good job on the offensive glass on a couple of occasions. 
They love to run this screen and roll with Evan Turner. He's a really good decision maker, good challenge in the neighborhood. So he'll go to the bench with his two fouls with seven minutes to go in the half. He's an important player for Minnesota as well because of his defensive versatility and leadership. So let's keep an eye on what transpired. Now was able to do in the W column, non-conference, not much to grab hold of. And think about this, Jim. I've got Cal in my field, in my own little mind and world. But what if, in fact, the committee deems that's an offensive foul? He lowered that shoulder. The crowd. Hit the that's right. That's right. Turner splits. Lost it. Sampson's up ahead. Nice Westbrook goal. Nice job. Back to Carter. Tip up. No. Sampson. Yes. So fine-tuned offensively after the Michigan escape. Guys, the two previous meetings is playing as well as Penn State has over the last six. They're three and three over that period of time. But let's not forget two of those losses were at home. Our young guys and then on the road where they gave Michigan State everything they wanted. So this is a very dangerous Penn State squad that we're going to see here this year. They're not nearly as Penn State lost their last two, 64 to 60 to number seven Purdue, 67, 65 at Michigan State first shot of the game. That one makes the play. Make the decision. But we're, we're not anywhere close to being done recruiting. He will and, be back uh, next year. That'll pick Joseph up again tomorrow. Up you know, game. In, in he was a, had the ability to give the ball up, and his teammates would do something positive with it. Taylor battle, 19 a game, five rebounds, four 30-point games this year. Probably drove the team bus over here. That's right. That one off the mark. But close out under control, but particularly on a guy like Westbrook, or on DeVoe Joseph because a shot fake, if you don't close out under control, they can get by you off the dribble. Justin Cobb has checked in. First shot had it partially blocked, got it back, and banks it in. As we start the second half, Minnesota led by as many as 15 in that first half battle. Backs it up. Baseline jump shot, and that dribble got the Penn State defender up out of his stance, able to get his shoulder around, and the nice little floater off the glass. 11 points, two rebounds, two block shots now for Damian Johnson. 10 point lead for the Gophers. Well, wide after the hedge, up high from Brooks, and knocked down the trip. Minnesota, largest lead in to see over the top, unimpeded. Battle. Kicks it out in the corner. Jackson. And a rebound. Battle with the rebound. Brooks. And a whistling foul. Looks point game at halftime. And then Lighty and Turner made it their business not to allow open shots. Both teams well prepared for this task. It's the defense tonight. And Minnesota with full court pressure. Michigan State had trouble just inbounding it. Gophers deflected it out. Gophers have not used the press much. Selectively, mm -hmm. I think is the word Tubby Smith mentioned earlier. Green against Samson. 13 on the shot clock. This has really been a half court game for both teams. Seven on the shot clock. Lucius for three. Hit nothing but the window. Kalen Lucas missed it. Shot clock violation. Yeah. Great defense by Minnesota. Excellent, excellent. Got to hit the rim in order for the shot clock to reset. And it did not, even on, on uh, Lucius's shot. From the Spartans, number 10, Del so, Monroe. A turnover. Check in. This ball has to hit the rim in order for it to reset. It doesn't. And now it's loose. And you can see very, very close. Even Caleb Lucas. Yeah, this shot this didn't hit the rim. rim either. So that, that was the correct call by the officials. And the man. Good challenge and a good rebound by Westbrook. Minnesota with the numbers. Kick it out to the wing. Hoff Harbor gets the three. 7-0 Golden Gophers. 
Well, Purdue was down early to Northwestern last night and found a way to come back and win that one by eight. But a terrific start here for me. Seems to be moving okay on it, but moving like that on the sideline versus getting out here and running and cutting and stopping and starting. That shot by Johnson was from three. Minnesota three times last year, including once in the Big Ten tournament. Corey Lucius with the miss. Rebound Westbrook. Here come the Gophers trailing 11 to 10 with 9.15 left in the half. Hoff Arbor with the basketball still hasn't taken a shot. And he's been averaging 18 points a game the last nine games. That's how good Michigan State's defense has been on Blake Hoff Arbor. Nolan for three. After those three throws. After Purdue, Min Minnesota score. Snap it up ahead to Sampson. Have a situation where the coaches can mutually agree at a certain point, a minute and a half, two minutes. That's all. Minnesota playing man to man. Merkovic steps away and had it partially deflected by Sampson. Here comes Westbrook. And Minnesota, none of those from Harfarber, the conference's leading three-point shooter. Crawford a deep three, short. Westbrook the rebound. Game. From the outside, Cobbs, the freshman. Westbrook able to pick up off the long carrow. Gets baseline on Sherna. Rally with time winding down. Unable to deliver. Westbrook, the rebound, wrapped up from behind. Now Joseph. Minnesota, six of nine from distance, and Blake Hoffarber is 0 for 1. Here's Hoffarber. The lob to Sampson. Good pitch. Missed the delivery. But Westbrook races for it and tips it off of Rally out of play. It'll belong to Minnesota. Dumas for three. And the rebound picked off by Westbrook. Way too quick if you're Indiana right there, Wayne. Deep three for Jordan Halls. Not sure why he wanted to pull the trigger there. But Westbrook comes out of the backcourt. Yeah, Iverson, good dunk in. Had it stripped away. Rivers on the run. And left it short. Yeah, he just lost it on the way up with the left hand. You can't fault Jeremiah Rivers for attacking the rim. But what's Old Purdue, the number two seed in this tournament, to only 11 points in the first half. 19% field goal shooting for Purdue in that first half, Jim. Only 28% for the game. Good challenge by Hoff Arbor on Diebler's shot. Keep an eye on that matchup, folks. Expect Minnesota to really get up into Ohio State. In the first 20 minutes. Bab. Hot at the end of the first half. Eight points for Babb. 33 to 25. Inside Delvon Rowe with a miss. Rebound Westbrook. Ahead to Johnson. Tough catch in traffic. Feeds Hoff Arbor. Ten play. They had been ranked as high as 17th. Allen for three. Rebound Westbrook. Minnesota still trails by just eight. It's Hoff Arbor. He started it. Every Spartan with the assignment of Hop Barber has carried it out. Yep. He gets no open looks, and he hasn't had any tonight. Right now, Hop Arbor on the baseline in the corner, guarded by Lucas. Nice look down low from Nolan to Johnson. This is Kalen Lucas. Open is Allen for three. Rebound. Lawrence Westbrook feeds Johnson. Lost the handle on it. We've got a scrum. Possession arrow favors the Gophers. Oh, it's Tom Izzo living. Westbrook with just three points. Five to shoot. Westbrook. Boy, there's just no open spots. Got it off and off the window. Wow. wow. A desperation shot, and it goes down. If you're Westbrook, you're happy that it goes, but you hope that that is not going to be the way that you have to score tonight. That was a very difficult shot. Throw in the shot clock being almost at nil, and it was practically an impossible shot.
Lawrence Westbrook, this isn't exactly how you diagram it. No, I mean, that was over a couple of defensive hands. That shot clock is at nothing by the time it hits the net. Big bucket, though, to keep this thing under 10. Thank you, Carissa. They'll also have to stop Raymar Morgan from doing that. Westbrook with a two. Maybe he is starting to heat up. He had a 29-point game earlier against Penn State. Well, he's certainly capable. Our father by Michigan State and even Westbrook, though he did get that shot a few moments ago. Minnesota, on the other hand, they've done a pretty good job defensively taking Kalen Lucas and his scoring away. Boy, have they? And the officials want to see if this was a three or a two-pointer. One thing is for certain, Lawrence Westbrook has gotten hot. So the Spartans back up seven. Yeah. And then that's it. So why not take advantage of it? Meanwhile, Kalen Lucas's three ball puts Michigan State up ten. Then figures, but doing other things to help his basketball team. That's the, you know, that's the, the versatility of Michigan State. If Lucas doesn't get it, they have others that can step in, and he's not going to force things. Oh boy! But Lawrence Westbrook will, and why not? He is sizzling. He started sizzling right about the time when you said he was being contained. <laughs> he hasn't been contained since then. There's the red hot Lawrence Westbrook. Stepped in and they let him go. Denied him inside initially, but then allowed him to go out beyond the arc without a defender. And he cashed it in. Buford with a floater. Turner saves it. In fact, saves it. Feeds it. Deep or no. Long rebound Westbrook. Who's a good rebounder for his size. He sure is. And restarting with 16 to shoot. Johnson, one dribble, right to the bucket, short. Westbrook with the rebound, quick release, count. The nice job of taking the other scoring options out of it. David Jackson been held in check, as has Chris Babb for long periods of time. You can't underestimate the importance of the injury to Taylor Battle, but that has not really been the story here tonight. It has been the efficiency with which... Johnson, one dribble, right to the bucket, short. Westbrook with the rebound, quick release, count. Westbrook, and Colton Iverson comes up with the rebound. Here comes Joseph on the hard push. Across court, Westbrook. Got it. Boy, what a beautiful look in the secondary break by Minnesota. They kick it up the left side of the floor. They fan out on the right side. Good look cross court from Hoffarger to Westbrook, who spotted up. 13-15 to play in the second half. 49-29, Minnesota up by 20. Back after this. And recently, they've been getting a great effort as Westbrook knocks down another J on the baseline. A great effort from Raymar Morgan. He's been playing his heart out the last few games. At Illinois, three at Iowa in overtime to Wisconsin. And the baseline. Westbrook again, he's starting to get his numbers, has 10 now, averages 13. Take Free throw makes it a three possession game. Westbrook lucky to recover. And the trap, and a foul on Kalen Lucas. Come on, no. Well, Minnesota needs points in a hurry. Westbrook on the drive, and he got bumped. 10 minute mark, no. Well, Minnesota needs points in a hurry. Westbrook on the drive, and he got bumped. 51, Michigan State, Westbrook. On the drive, tough shot, and traffic goes down! And a Minnesota timeout, their last. He's pretty good at that shot, isn't he? <laughs> the second time he's done that in this half. Westbrook tonight with 15 points, a dozen this half. Summers runs him off the three-point line, forces him into something far tougher, but Westbrook able to get it to go and cut it to five for his, Wisconsin, for his Minnesota Golden Gophers. Kicked out to Westbrook. He takes the shot. And the first four of the game to the Golden Gophers, who have a 20 win season. They're tw well, he'll feel that later on tonight, I would think. One on one. 91% free throw shooter is Westbrook in conference play. Interesting shooting. 
interesting, interesting pre-shot routine in that he doesn't take a dribble. You don't see that often. Hits them both. And boy, it's worked, as you said. And Northwestern. 14 and 9 for the Gophers. The Wildcats at 16 and 8. Westbrook for three. And if that, if you're Minnesota, Wayne, that's a good sign because Westbrook is really a streaky shooter. If that first one goes through, he can light the opponent up in a hurry. Minnesota playing man to man. Murkovic steps away and had it partially deflected by Sampson. Here comes Westbrook. And Minnesota off to a quick start. Put back. Westbrook out of the corner for three. Yep. Look out. When he gets it going, you have to find him. Three-point field goals per game. From the outside, Cobbs, the freshman. Westbrook able to pick up off the long carrot. Gets baseline on Sherna. That just can't happen, Wayne. Lawrence Westbrook got a rebound after getting off his posterior, gets up, then is able to drive to the lane. Not one Northwestern jersey stepped in front of him. He's able to convert along the baseline. The screen. Off Arbor. Open baseline look, Westbrook, and he buries it. 12 for Lawrence Westbrook. And knowing that coming off a loss, well, you know, they're not supposed to win this game. They go on the road and go into Evanston. It's really been perimeter shooting for both teams. Rick combined. They only shot two free throws Northwestern Minnesota, and Northwestern zone has not given the Gophers fits as they've been able to move the ball, get basically uncontested looks time after time again. But they're making them, and they're capitalizing. Blake Harfarber's had a very quiet first half, but it's been Joseph and Westbrook who got off to a very quick start. And this is an important game because the Gophers, looking at their schedule, Rick, they could still get in because they have so many big time games left on their conference schedule. Big Golden Gophers leading scorer has 12 right now as they lead it by eight. Wayne Larrabee and Sean Morris have the second half call coming up after the break. Enjoy the rest of the game. It is five for Minnesota who starts the second half on the lob pass. Johnson inside Sampson back outside of Westbrook three. Lawrence Westbrook with 15. Really solid minutes in the first 20 minutes. Westbrook out of the corner for three. Lawrence Westbrook now with 18 points, two triples here in the second half. Minnesota by 10. He almost turned it over right there. Westbrook sliding in. He was pushed by Juice Thompson early. Lawrence Westbrook is the leading scorer for Minnesota. 13 points a game overall. And he bangs in the first. Off the front of the rim. 19 for Westbrook, 12 of which came early in the ball game. But he has had some impact here in the second half with a couple of three-pointers. And he makes them both. 20 now for Westbrook. Shot clock. Joseph three short. Rebound. Damian Johnson clears it to Westbrook. The runner is good. Boy, has he been on fire tonight. Game. And they're second in the conference in offensive rebounding overall at about 13 for contest. Westbrook three. You have to find Lawrence Westbrook in transition. We saw him last Sunday against Northwestern Wayne, and he got it heated up coming right out of the gate. Or dribble when he started. Bolton Iverson in the ball game now for Minnesota. Westbrook on the pull up over Verdell Jones. Boy, that was a nice looking move right there by Westbrook. Two quick dribbles, and then the ability to rise and stop on a dime by Westbrook. Five early points for the senior. Joseph sets it up. Go for seven of 11 from the field. Three of three from downtown. Westbrook. Whoa. That's a big time play, Wayne, because he had to go up, corral that pass by Paul Carter, come down, check his feet. He was very close to the sideline. And we've talked about the quickness of the release of Blake Hoffarmer. Lawrence Westbrook, no slots in that category either. Two double doubles earlier this season against two top 25 teams out in Anaheim, one versus Butler and one versus Texas A&M. Westbrook on the turn. Samson picked up by Pritchard. Westbrook, deep three. Bring it up. My goodness, have they been good from downtown. And a good use of the little rub screen right there by Westbrook. And as we've talked about, he does not need much room to get it off. Counts for 30% of Indiana's assists per game. Westbrook. 
and boy, what a tough shot that was over Verdell Jones. How about the reload and shooting with the off or left hand on the way down? I'll tell you what, the judges loved it. Except the French judge, they don't like anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. Little curl cut. Now watch him come up with the left hand. Jack knife puts it up very softly. Gets the kind roll. That would have scored well in ice dancing. No doubt about it. Westbrook the steal. In on his own. Fouled by Dumas. Conference and assist to turnover ratio and you know, the last time out is really a great example for Indiana. They had 16 turnovers at home versus the Michigan State Spartans. That led to 23 points for Michigan State. And as a result, 40 points in the paint for Michigan State in that winning effort on the road, 59% shooting. Very difficult to overcome those stats. Westbrook joined the 1,000-point club here at Minnesota earlier this season, hits a pair of free throws, and the lead again is 17 for Minnesota. Has not forced anything. He's not going out and tried to get his, so to speak. Played a very good floor game. Westbrook in rhythm for three. 18 for Lawrence Westbrook. His fourth triple of the night. Minnesota by 20. And he's coming off a game versus Wisconsin. He did not have a field goal. Tom's into the lineup for Minnesota. And it's a steal by Bostic. He finds Westbrook. Good move. Pass turn. He's heading to the line for a three-point opportunity. Wow. Beautifully done. I don't know if he could have done that last year. 40 pounds heavier, Jim. But he's lighter and leaner and shifty. Making plays that help you win, even if he's not scoring. Westbrook, that ties it. That three. I talked about forcing turnovers, a big part of the recipe for Minnesota. Obviously, the defense and the shot blocking the steals go into that as well. Turner wanted it, got it, fails to hit it. Significant juncture here for Minnesota. They don't want this thing to get away from them. And they won't if they do that. That's twice now Westbrook has made the three from the corner. Season long and certainly here in this tournament, the guy for Minnesota was Lawrence Westbrook. I thought he made a couple of big triples on his way to nine points, and they came at critical times. But think back to Walt Hazard, Erickson. Gail Goodrich. Gail Goodrich. Slaughter. And those were not overpowering teams in 30 on the game. Nope. Oh. Westbrook. Oh, now he's going to. Have a chance at a three-point play of his own. How you leave any of them off. Right. But to them, it won't matter because they came as Evan Turner said. Fire. Wow. They've not missed a shot in the last eight minutes. That's Westbrook. Timeout, Minnesota. Timeout, Minnesota. Golden Gophers take the. He went over a thousand points on his career yesterday. 45th Buckeye to ever do that. Joining such luminaries as you. And there is Westbrook driving in for two. And this was a three point game. Good patience by Minnesota. It's okay on the road to use that shot clock to get the exact shot you want. Shot clock at three, ball knocked out of bounds, and a reach-in foul on Michigan State. Coaches in the country and two coaches that have such great respect and a friendship for each other. Westbrook on the drive, the reverse layup won't go down. Look at the Gophers crash the boards again. Westbrook, wow. it's a three ball. Wow. He wants, and he is so valuable to the Buckeyes. Nice look down low. Sampson slams it home. Impacting shot. Sampson didn't block that, but he altered the offering from Watford. West. Oh, West. Beautiful find. Sampson inside. Westbrook on the fifth. And that's what happens when you don't stop the ball. The most dangerous guy on the floor, obviously, is the man with the basketball. Westbrook able to get all the way into the paint without anybody from Indiana stopping him. Once he got into the paint, they had to rotate. That allowed the easy find. Oh, Joseph. And now Minnesota resumes. Hoffhopper, good cut, good luck. 
from Westbrook. Get it inside. Huck is your friend right now for the Golden Gophers. Sampson, good catch in traffic. Snap it up ahead to Sampson. Watch out. Deep three for Jordan Halls. Not sure why he wanted to pull the trigger there. But Westbrook comes out of the backcourt. Yeah, Iverson, good duck in. He is, he's very versatile, can go inside, can go outside. And their first win, their first conference win of the season, the key to it, Gus, was the fact that David Jackson had 20 points, as did Chris Babb. Taylor Battle didn't have to carry off. This is Kalen Lucas. Open is Allen for three. Rebound. Lawrence Westbrook. Feeds Johnson. Lost the handle of it. In fact, beat him by 11 in early January, and Turner was, in fact, back for that game. Here's the jump shot. Johnson back of the rim. Turner with seven. Westbrook feeds Iverson. Oh, he never had full control of it. Lighten things up, isn't he, oh, Jim? Oh, man. 15 points. He's got nine in the last couple of minutes. Championships continued, but think back to Walt Hazard, Erickson. Gail Goodrich. Gail Goodrich. And a lot of great accomplishments by Damian Johnson. This season, we'll talk about it as this game progresses. Three turnovers for Penn State. Rodney Williams, the talented freshman, comes in. Westbrook on the baseline, hands it off to Colton Iverson. And Iverson in the country, Robbie Hummel. It's good to have the seat alongside you, Clark. Sit Likewise. back and enjoy with a lot on the line here to get it in underneath to Sampson. And puts up the little soft touch for two. Getting shot blocker in conference play for Minnesota he goes right away to the jump shot. 22. Carter jump shot and it's 30 to six. Sampson first points for either side for Minnesota. Inside Joseph. Nice little backdoor slip that time. Oh, after those free throws. After Purdue, Minnesota scored the throw. Nicely done. Off the inbounds. Johnson nice inside play. on Murkovic. Three. Down to two. Down to one. Manufactured a shot. Didn't get rim. And here comes Westbrook out of the backcourt for Minnesota. Not a good sequence for Northwestern. They've struggled offensively here in the second. At home to a struggling Michigan squad, Northwestern on the road at Iowa on Wednesday. Sampson, good catch inside, and he traveled on the pirouette move. Oh, him now, Sampson rebounds on the offensive end. Able to clear it to Westbrook. Fresh shot clock, Minnesota, Sampson in close. Iverson, nice, nice look to Carter, scored and a foul. 25, 24 shots. Uh, 18 of those shots, Jim, were either challenged or deflected. Oh. Wow. Five points out of the break. 14 on the game. And Buc is, uh, Buckeyes have the largest lead. It's an inside, and that shot again. Greatly influenced by the Buckeyes, but it ends up in the hands of Westbrook. Here he is. Dishes and the layup by Johnson. So a roundabout way of getting there. Lawrence Westbrook. We, we're very bottom heavy. You know, we have to have, we have, to have a balancing act right now between what do we need to do in the short term the versus the how we want to have a slump. They say they really want to get it to him. But had a career uh, high 21 I look at our team and we also need somebody Island. that's better at getting in the lane. Uh, we need somebody that can get in the lane and create a habit. That, 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 can, that can get in that paint and, and make decisions. Lawrence Westbrook feeds Johnson. Lost the handle of it. Seven and four on the season, and since losing on January 16th against Northwestern, they've gone 13 and one. Right of Marcatulio. Skip it over to Nash. Corner pocket three. Short. 
Iverson the rebound and a timeout called quickly by Tubby Smith and company. 6.5 seconds remaining. And if he's defending right here, 22. As you said, they do go deep. Lighty left open, launches it. He was a, had the ability to give the ball up and his teammates would do something positive with it. Taylor battle, 19 a game, five rebounds. Four 30 point games this year. Probably drove the team bus over here. That's right. That went off the mark. Loose ball knocked out. Bab picks it up. Skip pass. Battle deep. Partially deflected by Westbrook. And Colton Iverson comes up with the rebound. Here comes Joseph on the hard push. Across court. Westbrook. Got it. Unimpeded. Battle. Kicks it out in the corner. Jackson. And a rebound, Damian Johnson. But he was, more importantly, he knew where Hoffarber was. Three ball by Allen. Airballed it. And another steal by Minnesota. Going to reach in. Fault against Purdue. Boy, Lawrence was hilarious. It's going to be a one and one. Westbrook, Lawrence Westbrook, man. Take a look at this slide. Tremendous effort and then a major skid. Thompson on the drive, pulls up, no! Rebound, batted, tipped by Merkovich, no! Sampson's got it, and this ball game will go to overtime. If you're not going to get that call, you don't want to compound it by committing a foul of your own. And just one, one, Westbrook the steal. In on his own. Fouled by Dumas. For two. And this was a three point game at halftime. And then Lighty and Turner took over. Joseph missing on the short one after the. Minnesota playing man to man. Merkovich steps away and had it partially deflected by Sampson. Here comes Westbrook. And Minnesota off to a quick start, leading it 8 to 2. And boy, once that first shot goes in for Lawrence Westbrook. His confidence level really rises, and he can be a very dangerous offensive player. You saw him attack the, the rim with a vengeance right there after draining that first triple. Here today. Turner with seven. Westbrook. Significant juncture here for Minnesota. They don't want this thing to get away from them. And they won't if they do that. That's twice now, Westbrook. Has made the three from the corner. Transition opportunity that time for Minnesota against Michigan. D Blur, how about another one from the wing? Yes. He went over a thousand points on his career yesterday. 45th Buckeye to ever do that. Joining such luminaries as you. And there is Westbrook driving in for two. Johnson from the outside. Ball kicked out to Westbrook. He takes the shot. And the first four of the game to the Golden Gophers, who have a 20 win season. Their 20th win coming last. The defenses, they'll trap you a little bit out of the zone. They'll play some man to man. Good challenge and a good rebound by Westbrook. Minnesota with the numbers. Kick it out to the wing. Hoff Harbor gets the three. Mm. Seven nothing, Golden Gophers. And it continues with Joseph coming out with it. One and done so far from Purdue. Feeds the post. He can jump hook right here, Jim. That's what he wants to is. do. Go over that left shoulder. And because he, because Jawan Johnson likes to play behind and he has to be careful in terms of getting into foul trouble, I think Samson will be able to. An 11 seed Penn State who have been playing well at the end of the year. You see that they're wounded. And for Minnesota to be able to come in here and take care of them the way they have taken care of them thus far, that says a whole lot about how prepared the Gophers were coming into this game. Very, very focused, and they have done a nice job of taking the other scoring options out of it. David Jackson been held in check, as has Chris Babb for long periods of time. You can't underestimate the importance of the injury to Taylor Battle, but that has not really been the story here tonight. It has been the official. This is Kalen Lucas. Open is Allen for three. Rebound, Lawrence Westbrook feeds.
Curtis Johnson lost the handle on it. We've got a scrum. Possession arrow favors the Gophers. Oh, it's Tom Izzo living. Inside Delvon Rowe with a miss. Rebound Westbrook. Ahead to Johnson. Tough catch in traffic. Feeds off Arbor. And another steal by Minnesota. Going to reach in. Fall against Purdue. Boy, Lawrence was there. It's going to be a one and one. Westbrook, Lawrence Westbrook, man. Take a look at this slide. Tremendous effort and then a major.